Sorry, I didn't have more on on Ukraine, but that's a, that's a that's a tough one, isn't it? Um, no, I think Ukraine is pretty straightforward. It just depends on people's perspectives. Um, I mean, well, I just mean okay, all right. Well, or wait, it depends now, on what you mean by policy, tough. I mean it's rough, like it's sad, the, it's the tragic. The U.S. policy might yeah. be tough, but the idea of how you can end the conflict. Because the original question well, I think is the how issue, we... and I mean, this kind of plays into the Palestinian-Israeli thing too. I think the issue oh, is too go. many people. Well, I think you'll agree with my take. Too many people look for peace uh, instead of justice because there's a lot of ways to end conflicts peacefully. So, for instance, um, Netanyahu in Israel prefers. Um, oh God, is it MLK that said like the uneasy peace where there's the oppression of one mm. people? Um, Netanyahu and, and Israel would prefer the peace of the status quo where they just kind of like continue to move forward. Uh, whereas I think. People on the other side would say, peace. "Well, it's, it's yeah, I mean, uneasy. October seventh, you know, yeah, but, sure. But I'm saying that like that that peace is preferred the, to like know, the the full on war. But people would say that like, well, you know, the peace doesn't mean anything if it's not a just peace. So for Ukraine, um, I imagine that them saying like, oh, okay, well, we just want peace, and it's like, okay, well, then you lose." Uh, you know, Luhansk can do, and I don't know how much even more territory would necessarily be taken uh, past the Donbass yeah. even. Um, and then Crimea, and yeah. that's your peace. No. That probably doesn't feel very satisfying because, well, that might be no. peace, but it's not justice. And I think that people tend to push that's... more for justice than just a peaceful resolution. They right? should tend to push more. For peace or justice? For, for justice. Yes, yeah, I agree. But that, that's, that, that's that can be position. hard. That's fascinating to me because I, I just, I feel like you were making the total opposite argument in the, uh, in the Palestine case. Because I feel like you're saying, look, the Palestinians have to say, you you know, you, all of your legal rights, all of the human rights organizations, all of, you know, you can make a justice argument all you want. But the fact, the fact is that Israel is more powerful than you. So you need to accept something realistic, given who the more powerful party here is here. Whereas in Ukraine, you say, you know, it doesn't matter that Putin is more powerful. What matters is you have the right not to be occupied. And you should pursue justice, not just, you know, an unjust peace. So there's two different uh, refutations of this. So on the first okay. one, I would say that my position is exactly the same. Um, okay. And, and, well, I would if, assume you'd say and if I wanted to say the position was the same, what I would say is the Palestinian no. situation is just far more dire. Um, that I could imagine that if we went back to 1947 or 1948 and the Arabs are fighting against the Israelis, mm. I would say, listen, I understand why you're fighting. I fucking support it. Go for it. I mean, like, if you feel like they're invaders and they yeah. were brought here and the British didn't, you know, they fucked you over, fuck it, fight. And I've said as much in 47, 48. I understand. I'm sympathetic towards the fighting there. Um, same thing with Ukraine right now. I'm sympathetic towards fighting. Let's say that we went 15 years into the future. Yeah. Ukraine's economy was shattered. Um, they had, you know, lost like 50% yeah. of their population of men aged 18 to 21. They weren't making any more gains. At some point, I'd probably be like, listen, man, this sucks. But like... Mm. The chances of you winning this are, are, are basically approaching zero. All you're doing is feeding people mm. into the meat grinder. You probably do have to stop. So on that end, I would say my position is actually identical. I just don't think Ukraine's position has gone anywhere near as dire as the Palestinian situation. One. And then on okay. the second, that, I, that would be one reputation. But a second reputation, mm -hmm. I, was, I would say, is the situations are morally dissimilar, such that in 91, Ukraine was a state, a sovereign state with fully recognized borders that Russia itself yeah. recognized. And then Russia betrayed those borders. Um, the history in Israel-Palestine has always been far more ambiguous. And it hurts the Palestinian well, side of the argument when all of the Israeli expansion came after attempted mass wars to remove Israel from the continent and to fight a war. That, that, um, yeah. Was it Abba Yaban, I think, that said that the uh, Palestinians are always one generation behind on peace? I think that basically once once they lose in 48, they want to go back to 47. Once they lose in 67, oh. they want to go back to 48. Once they lose in, you know, um, after the first and second intifada, you know, after the Area C expansions, they want to go back to the beginning of the Oslo Accords. Like, yeah. it can't just be this. You fight and you try to gain everything. And then when you lose, you want to go back to the prior thing. It changes the, the way that I view these two situations morally. Well, they, uh, I mean, I think the Palestinian narrative would be, yes, we, at every stage, we resist our dispossession. And then we get dispossessed, and then you know we we continue to resist, and we preserve our we preserve we tr preserve our rights. We still believe in justice. Yeah, right? but the the we problem still, with that argument is we that still if you want our sovereignty, the, we yes, the problem though when you say you resist your dispossession and you try really hard to fight against what you think is unfair, that argument doesn't work to take you back to the forty eight borders. That argument takes you back to before Israel existed as a state. And that's the issue that a yeah. lot of Israelis feel Palestinians want, and a lot of Palestinians probably want, is to yeah. is to just have their own well, one I, I state. Well, I think that, yeah, I mean, 